Hey everyone, Madison here. Today I'm going to show everyone the proper way to repot something using this silver spotted begonia. But first, let's talk soil mixes. The soil mix you use is very important for your plant. Things like hummus, vermiculite, and perlite help improve the drainage to your soil and allow oxygen to reach the roots of your plant. Components like pine bark, orchid bark, and peat moss allow drainage to the soil also, but they also help to retain the moisture to, for plants like aeroids, orchids, or any of the plants that love moisture. Now I know you're thinking that's a lot of components and you don't even know where to begin, but it's okay, don't worry. So my first rule of thumb is just never use store-bought potty mix on its own. Always add some of your drainage components, especially the perlite, pumice or vermiculite, and your orchid bark. That is just gonna help your plant not rot. So don't worry too much. Now, the next thing you're gonna do is Google your plant and what type of soil mix it needs to use. Some plants need more drainage. Some plants need more moisture retention. So just look up your plant and Google will be your best friend. Now we're just gonna go unpot our little begonia. We're gonna see what roots we're working with so we can get a soil mix and a pot picked. Let's go. Here's my spotted begonia. And we're gonna begin by taking her out of this pot so we can assess the root size. Cause we need to know that in order to pick a pot for it. I'm gonna start by tilting it on its side lightly and just mashing all around the root ball so that I can just pull it out. And there it is. All right. The main reason I wanted to repot this is because it's getting pretty leggy and I have all these old stakes in it that just aren't serving its purpose anymore since it's grown so big. This is a long awaited repot. I got this at a big box store and normally when plants are becoming uh, uh, adults, like they're babies, they put these little um, fabric things around the root ball like that and I think that interferes with the roots ability to reach out and grow and I, I know spotted begonias are known for rotting so I just need to get this thing out of those little root balls so that she'll truly flourish so you just start breaking away all the dirt on your plant I'm gonna split this in two so there's two plants here I can feel at the root ball. You just delicately pull them apart. If you lose a little bit of roots, that's okay. Got this one and this big one. I'm gonna start with this one. Oh, this one's even too. Let's start by taking this fabric off of it. Look at this. I think it was already starting to rot. I have some dead pieces and there's like no roots on this thing. It has a few, but I think this is really what it needs. Don't worry about being too aggressive with it. These plants, especially cane begonias, are super hardy. Ooh, look. We can see a little rhizome. That hard part. That stores water for the begonia plant. It helps it retain moisture, and so like if it dries out, it can handle a little bit of drought. Now the big boy. Look at how dense the soil is. There's no drainage in here. There's no orchid bark or anything. I'm surprised that this thing lasted as long as it did. I guess I just have a green thumb. <laughs> Got some healthy roots on this one. No wonder it's doing so good. I thought this would be two plants, but this one right here is one. Beautiful, she's so cute. Now that we have our plants and we can see the roots on them and see how big they are, the next step is very important. It's choosing a pot size for your plant. Choosing a pot size can make or break your repot. Let's go look at some pots so we can see what size would be perfect for this. So now that we know the size of our root ball, let's fit test into these pots to see what size would be perfect for it. And I'll explain to you why. 
This first pot looks like it could be just enough room, but it's really small compared to the length of the root ball. And I would just be needing to repot this so much sooner than I want to. So this one is way too big. As you can see, there's so much room around the root ball. Um, and that can lead to root rot if you make it too big. The plant can't absorb that much water that fast. So, and this plant is really susceptible to root rot. So we're not gonna go with this large pot. This mid-sized pot is perfect for it because it's got about an inch in diameter all the way around it. It's got the same height and depth of our roots, so it would fit perfectly with having enough room to expand. Now that we know what size to put our pot in and the importance of it, let's make our soil mix that we talked about earlier. So for our soil mix, I did a quick Google search of my plant to see what kind of soil it needed. My begonia prefers a lot of moisture, but it also needs really good aeration so that it doesn't rot. So I'm going to use two parts perlite, two parts orchid bark, and one part of our normal soil mix. And if I need a lot more soil, I'm just going to do two more parts, two more parts, and one more part. I'm going to put in two parts perlite, two parts orchid bark, and one part potting mix. We're gonna start up. Now to me, this looks super, super chunky and I'm worried about it drying out too much. So I am going to take my own knowledge and add a second scoop of potting mix. That's just because it's a begonia and it likes moisture. So this has a lot of peat in it, peat moss. So again, our mixture is two orchid bark, two perlite, and two potting mixes. It doesn't matter what size scoop you're using, this is one cup, just keep your parts all the same. So if you're gonna use this cup, use that for all of your parts. The next important thing is water. Soil is hydrophobic without water at first. So it's really hard to water your plants after you've potted it, it's literally going to be floating around in your dirt. Your dirt's not going to absorb the water. So pre-mix it. It doesn't have to be too wet. As you can see, it's pretty moist, not dripping too much. That's our perfect soil mix for our begonia. Let's move to potting this bad boy up. So now we're going to pot this up. Got our pre-moistened soil mix. We have our perfectly sized pot. And we have our little plant babies that are going to go inside this pot. So the first thing you do when you're potting is you're just going to put a little bit of soil in the bottom of your container. Nope, that just put some soil on the bottom with the drainages. Then let's test it out by putting your plant in there and just touching the bottom. I'm going to put a little bit more in there because there's so much of this showing, like in underneath the dirt, I, I don't want it to rust. We're gonna put a little bit more in there. Adjust that depending on your plant. Just the bottom of the root ball touches it. And a good rule of thumb is to make sure there's not a lot of green under dirt because it will rot eventually. This thing has got plenty of room to grow. I'm gonna stick this one here. I'll probably stick this one like this and this one towards the back and now we're gonna backfill backfilling is just putting dirt in around the roots I'm holding it so that it's kind of suspended so it's the perfect spot pat it down and keep backfilling So I'm filling in just around the corner of the pot so that these plants aren't leaning against the pot. They have some soil around the entire plant. Our big one is really large still and cocaine begonias do better with some support. And I don't have a moss pole so I'm going to put some sticks in there to give it some support. 
as much support as possible with just soil. Make sure everything's in there, no air pockets. I'd say fill up to about this little line on all your pots. Thank you for repotting with me. Now remember, if you put a lot of drainage in your soil mix, then that means you're gonna have to water it more often. So look up your plant's watering needs to see if it needs to dry out a lot longer or if you need to water it when the first inch of the soil is dry. Thank you so much for watching this video and if you have any questions or suggestions, leave me a comment below and I'll be sure to check it out. Thank you.